Hey guys, Clearbyte here, bringing another Pokemon TCG Online deck profile, and today we are looking into Seismitoad EX and Empoleon, which is a mighty fierce combo in my opinion, and I've fallen in love with this deck recently, so let's just jump straight into the deck profile. We are running two Shaman EX just for setup, essentially. We don't really use the attack whatsoever, but Shaman's so strong that we love using its ability then we're running one Draji because we are running Archie's Ace in the hole to get out Empoleon so the Draji becomes really really big in this deck um it just allows us to grab any supporter and a lot of the times we go for the Archie's with the Draji so Draji's are basically a necessity in my opinion now moving on we do run two Empoleon with Dignified Fighter just to do the extra 20 damage for Seismitoad and Reggie Ice because we do run Reggie Ice and it just makes them hit harder which a lot of people don't like to see so we run two Empoleon then we're running three Reggie Ice Resistant Blizzard is an absolute monster of an attack in certain matchups and it can just absolutely wall your opponent at some times so Reggie Ice can be a really 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 good attacker Plus we run Fighting Fury about which makes it has 160 HP, deal 80 damage, plus 20 from Empoleon, so it's doing 100 damage, plus Laser Verbank, so it's doing 130 damage for its resistant blizzard, and then it can't be attacked by EX Pokemon. Well, it can be, but it does no damage, so usually they just kind of scoop if they're running a whole bunch of EXs in their deck, so Regiites becomes a monster in situations like that. Then, of course, we're running two Seismito uh, three Seismitoad EX, not two, for Quaking Punch. The item lock is huge. We do 60 damage with Empoleon Fighting Fury Belt. Plus, Seismitoad goes up to 220 HP, which basically makes him a mega Pokemon. And it, uh, we also have the option to Grenade Hammer in this deck because we do run the water energy. So, Seismitoad becomes an absolute monster in this deck with Laser Furbank, Empoleon Fighting Fury Belt. Just dealing 90 damage a turn, essentially, with Seismitoad is an absolute monster, plus the item lock on top of that. Now, jumping into our trainers, we are running 3 Acrobike. We cut an Acrobike for a switch for the deck, which I feel is 100% necessary down the line because of the high retreat costs on our Reggie Ice and our Seismitoad. Uh, having the one switch in our deck is way better than having the fourth Acrobike. Now, moving on... We are running four Battle Compressors. We chose to run four over three because I like to mill out things out of my deck to help pull off Archie's Plus. Uh, battle Compressors is just super good on getting rid of unwanted cards in your deck that you don't need anymore. Let's say we Battle Compressor once get out two uh, Empoleons and Archie's. We can Battle Compressor out other Battle Compressors from there on out if we wanted to to help thin the deck and draw into the cards that we need. Now for our A spec of the deck, we are running one computer search. Uh, computer search is just really good in my opinion and it really helps the deck a lot. But you could also run Scoop Up Cyclone because we do still run Super Scoop Up in the deck to pick up Seismitoad and Reggie Ice and Jirachi and Shaman, basically all of our Pokemon, to be able to either refresh their HP or replay their ability. It's basically a personal choice that I chose computer search over Super Scoop Up. Now, Moving into one of the more busted trainer cards, or yeah, trainer cards in this deck, I'd say, is Hypnotoxic Laser. And this card can be absolutely game changing. Sometimes, if you flip heads and they stay asleep, you can just absolutely win the game off of that at certain times. So, Hypnotoxic Laser is insane. So, we do run three of them. Then, moving on, we are running one red card. We do run Getsus in the deck, so running the one red card is very useful. If we get this red, or red card gets us someone and they're left with, let's say, one card in hand and they dr dead draw for two turns, that's probably game over just because of Getsus red card. So that's why I'm choosing to run the one red card. You could cut it and run um, another Acrobike or another Super Scoop Up. It's really up to you. I prefer the red card, though. But moving on, we are running one Super Rod just to get certain things back into our deck that we might need later on in the matchup as we're getting thinner and thinner on cards from Battle Compressors and Acro Bikes. So we do run the one Super Rod. Then we're running two Super Scoop Ups. Uh, this card can be really good or really bad depending on whether or not you flip heads. So it's debatable on whether you'd want three for the red card. I chose it add two because I usually flip tails knowing my luck and all that stuff so but I still suggest that you run two super scoop up it can be absolutely game-changing sometimes so that's why we're running it 
Uh, then we're running the one switch. You could also cut the red card for a second switch if you wanted to. And I feel like it could be debatable on how your play style is and whether or not the second switch would be better than the red card. In my play style, I feel like I only need one switch. So that's why we're only running the one switch. Now we're probably running one of the more broken cards for an Archie's deck is Trainer's Mail because it's either a free card out of our hand or we can play it and get something that might give us the Archie's in the long run like an Ultra Ball or something like that. So Trainer's Mail in my opinion is an absolute necessity. Then we are running 4 Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is absolutely amazing and this deck allows us to grab any Pokemon that we need and it thins our hand and gets us off the Archie's so 4 Ultra Ball necessity. Then we're running for VS Seeker, it's basically become a staple nowadays just because it allows us to grab any supporter. So it's just too strong not to play, so that's why we're running four. Then, of course, we're running two Archie's Ace in the hole just to get out the Empoleons. Plus, if you just run one, we do run the risk of it getting prized, and we don't want that whatsoever. So that's why we do run two. Now, moving on to the other supporters, we're running one Getsus, as I said before. I wouldn't cut Getsus even if I wasn't running red card because I feel like that trainers have switched from a supporter lineup to more heavy item lineup, and Getsus kind of rules the meta, in my opinion, on certain decks. If you're versing really mainstream decks, Getsus becomes really, really, really strong. So that's why we're still running the one Getsus. Then we're basically running the God supporter. Fly Satter just it wins games so heavily and it's really really good so that's why we're running the one Lysander. Then we're running 2N and 2 Sycamore mostly because we don't want a lot of draw from our supporters because supporters become cloggy in our hand when we're trying to Archies which is bad so that's why we're only running the two of each. Then for our stadium, we're running two Verbank City Gyms. You could also cut the red card and run a third one. It's really up to you. I prefer two because we're only running three lasers. And we don't really need to win the stadium war, I guess you could say. We only use it when we want to deal that extra 30 damage, essentially. Then we're running three Fighting Fury Belts. This card's a huge, huge deal in this deck. It makes all of our Pokemon really, really tanky. Plus, it makes them do 10 more damage. I feel like it's better than Muscle Band before I was running Muscle Band in this deck. But we don't really need the 20 damage. And the HP is way, way more helpful in my opinion. So that's why we're running the Fury Belts instead. Now for our energies, we are running 4 DCE and 4 Water Energy. The Water Energy is mostly for Regi's, But we can still Grenade Hammer with Seismitoad off of it. It really depends on the situation and the match which you're going for. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this deck profile. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.